Welcome to the Crimson Engine. My name is Rubidium. Today we are looking at matte boxes again. Shape, whose matte box I have, upgraded their matte box to a bigger and better and uh, more sturdy model. Um, I got hold of it and I thought I would compare this one with this one and see what they've added, what they've taken away. So this is Shape's standard matte box, uh, 15 millimeter rails. Um, I did a review a couple of weeks ago and Shape took this, which is you know an entry level cinema camera or DSLR style matte box and you know pretty much beefed it up and improved it in every way. So I'll talk about how they're similar and then I'll talk about how they're different. Uh, they both have two filter trays, um, one that rotates um, for a polarizing filter at the back and um, one that goes straight in, but you can see this is the new one and this is the old one, um, much larger uh, piece of metal. You can see the locking mechanisms on the back. Um, this one's spring loaded, this one screws down. They both have eyebrows and French flag um, attachments on the top and the sides. The new one also has um, a underbrow, <laughs> I'm calling it, attachment so that you can, if you're under rigging the camera or you're getting light from below, you can also block flare with something at the bottom. The base model has, you know, a solid aluminium um, top flag, whereas the new one has this hinged folding system um, so that you can break it down for transportation and it's not as large a liability if you're um, moving the camera around. The main difference actually is um, that the old one slides uh, on the 15 millimeter rails, that's how you remove it. So if you want to change the lens, you have to undo the lock, slide it off the rails, slide it back on after you replace the lens. The new one has this pin on the side, you lift it up and it, it swings away. So you can now get access to the lens, um, change it over, when you're ready, pull it back up and it locks back in again. It really means that you can change the lens as a single operator rather than um, needing three hands to do it with this one. You need to have the lens and the matte box. The new one also has uh, the uh, this little handle at the top. Um, it also has uh, three tw um, quarter 20 mounting points for a light or a um, cine tape. It also has these dials which you can adjust the height of it. Um, this is in the matte the shape shoulder rig so you can adjust the height of the rails in the um, shoulder rig as well as you adjust it to different height lenses. Top screws on the bottom are you know they're about I've only know centimeters so I'm gonna say about three mil across whereas these ones are about six or seven mil. Uh, much easier to operate with gloves, uh, much easier to operate in the cold. Probably the biggest difference to the price of these is that the the matte box itself of this one is made with carbon fiber. Um, so even though it's bigger, it's lighter, whereas this one is um, some kind of composite plastic. New matte box also has a much larger capacity for the front diameter of your lens. Um, the metal itself is, is larger. You can take this frame out if this if your lens is even bigger than this, um, and move uh, and put in a different plate. New one also has the added advantage of coming with uh, 19 mil rail mounts, so you can switch it from a 15 to a 19 mil rail. Uh, I've never shot on anything with 19 mil rails. I think the Panavision cameras have them, some of them on the side, but it's also just you know a beefier kind of thing. If you're working with uh, longer zoom lenses that are much heavier, they need a bigger rail support and hence um, you can still use this matte box for those so really cool uh, to be working with this I you know there is still some jobs where this is perfect because you don't need that much matte box um, but you know if you're going uh, out to shoot something big you need to bring all the bells and whistles uh, this guy's got you covered check it out in the links below um, more information on shapes website and obviously wherever you're buying it from Amazon or BH uh, you probably see one or both of these in uh, future videos uh, leave your questions in the comments thanks very much for watching guys see you next time